Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here, and we're checking out Nico for our leveling video. So, level one, never played them before. Got the two star powers though. So, first we have each round the first ally you play with a different subtype than other allies cost one less. So, some cost reduction as long as we keep playing different types of units. Then we have the two star plus one starting mana, game start for each ally in your deck. If it has a subtype, granted impact, otherwise, it becomes a shapeshifter. So just making it have a subtype if it didn't already have one, that way it can benefit from the first star power. For Relics, we're going with Stormraiser, more just to see if it will work while Nico is disguised. That's mostly for testing purposes, otherwise I would be running with the Chameleon's Necklace first, just to get more copies in your deck. If you're enjoying all this Path of Champions content, definitely like and subscribe. Also, we recently launched a Discord and it's been growing like crazy, so if you want a place to hang out with like-minded individuals that also love Path of Champions, Click the link in the description to join. It'll be great to see you there. So as is tradition, we're going to be testing them out against Nautilus or the Titan of the Depths. All right, let's see what we get for the first star power. Allies have Overwhelm. Game starts on a sparring student. All of these are fine. I'm going to try to reroll, see if we can get something a little bit better. Sure, when an ally survives, damage grant it 1-1. We'll try to get a little bit of scaling going off. All right, so the beast below. All right, let's get rid of the Crested Lionhawk. And I think even the Grave Companion. I think we'll hold on to the rest. Alright, let's play the Cub first. Oh, not too bad. Free attack. Oh, so yeah, see here, we can't now get a discount for the dog, since we already played one of the dogs. Uh, so we'll play the web spinner. Make it so they essentially can't attack. Alright, I think. Let's play the Soren. And we're probably going to use the Shape Splitter here. Well, if they would have killed one of our units, we would have. We'll just bank the mana for now. I think we'll play the Lionhawk. Uh, I guess we'll go for a confront here. Alright, so we'll just open attack and end the game. Although I guess let's see what we get for Behold the Infinite. Ah, uh, let's go with the uh, Moon Silver. Alright, GG. I guess, let's see, each round the first time you summon another follower, summon an exact copy of it. If your board is full, grant its stats and keywords to me instead. I think this could be pretty decent. We already, we only have one reptile, I think, so getting another reptile wouldn't be too bad. Sad we didn't see the champion there. All right, so that's a bird. This doesn't have one. With Nico, you really want to be looking for anything you can get for keywords or subtypes that is. I think we'll go here since the Boom Crew Rookie and Jin will both get the Shapeshifter keyword. That should be able to help us out a decent amount. And let's go for the Stalking Wolf. All right, little expensive here, but we do have a good mix of subtypes. So I guess we'll just pass for the first round. All 
Uh, let's go for the Grave Companion first. Get this on the board so that it might give us some more draw in the future. So we're going to want to play the Bone ta or bone High Tritail uh, as late as possible. We want as many other subtypes on the board first. Uh, I think here let's play the Glacial Soren. Oh, there we go. So we can finally showcase her Disguise mechanic. So we could play her as normal, or we can disguise her as one of the other... Uh, units. I wonder if this will work. When I'm summoned, if I was created, draw one and grant me two one instead. Okay, no, it doesn't count as created, even though you're disguising. Oh, so here on the side, you don't see it at the top of the card, which makes sense. But on the side here, you can see that it's considered a shapeshifter. Yeah, I think we'll play this, so we still have enough mana for the shape splitter. Uh, of course I'm ready. So here, let's protect the dog. Run. Oh, that's such a strong effect. Such a great way to save your units. Okay, so it does seem like this card is still getting that quick attack, even though the card normally doesn't. So when you're playing uh, Nico, any items you put on them will still be taking effect even if the card technically isn't showing as Nico, so that's good to know. On right, here, let's play the cat and let's scale up. Alright, again, let's just keep saving our units with this. That's so much fun to use. So since relics still work, I think I'd probably play uh, Nico with Grand General's Counter Plan as well as Archangel Staff, just so you always have mana to keep saving your units whenever possible. Okay, though, let's play another uh, Tri Tail. Let's scale up even more. Oh no, it's gonna kill. <laughs> gonna kill Nico. Oh well. GG. So it definitely is a very interesting champion. Uh, yeah, let's grab Whirling Death, I guess. Uh, let's give it a little bit more stats. I don't think this will really help us that much. Sure, that can be fun. Dust Up Diplomacy is pretty good to grab. Alright, let's go for the Unscarred Weaver. Uh, let's get rid of the Grave Companion and hold on to the rest. I like that this is a champion that doesn't seem like it's going to be brokenly strong, but if you know what you're doing, you're going to be able to get a lot of mileage with it. It's going to be able to suit you very well. Uh, let's play the Rookie first. I can do this. Perfect. <laughs> I like that every game is probably going to play out differently. And that you're really going to have to have a lot of forethought in how you're wanting to uh, play. With all the different subtypes and how 
you get cost reduction, but it's kind of limited cost reduction. Uh, we'll save this for next round so we can scale up a little bit more. So let's play the Soren. The Winter's Claw strikes. Alright, they don't have any mana, so we should be able to block like this without getting surprised. So here, I'll play the Kitty Cat and then hopefully end the game. Alright, GG. Alright, here let's definitely grab this spider. Don't think we have any spiders, so another unit that can get some cost reduction. Alright, what do we want to cut? I think we'll cut the crested lionhawk. It's pretty expensive, although this might be the only bird we have. Yeah, it is. I guess we'll get rid of the Beguiling Cobra. It's a fun card, but it is just a bit too expensive. Although, I guess we could cut another card. Alright, I guess we'll get rid of the Lionhawk. So, Sejuani. Uh, decent opening hand. Yeah, I think I'm fine with this. Hopefully we don't get uh, overwhelmed too fast. This land is ours. I think we'll try to reduce down their attack. Oh, right. Right, so with this card, you have to at least have one other subtype on the board. Somewhat forgot about that, so that was my bad. Oh, I guess, yeah, we do have another spider. Oh, man. Alright, we'll play this first, and then we'll play the cub. They're out there. I'll spot them. I guess, yeah, I guess we'll attack, trying to get some damage down. Don't really like the fact that our units could die, but I feel like we have to be aggressive early, otherwise we're just going to get overwhelmed. So I do like the Equinox, but I think we'll go for the Celestial just so that we have more uh, invokes. So we can try to get more cards since we're somewhat running out. I think we'll pass for now. Just trying to save uh, our health as much as possible. At level one, you don't have a very healthy Nexus, so you have to really be careful. Having more blockers wouldn't be bad. Now they see who I truly am. Let's try to summon more with this. Look within. Watch this. Thou 
to no one. Alright, I think we'll play the... Well, let's try to do a Behold first. Sad, I was trying to see if we could get one of our uh, Stun the Crescent Strike. Alright, we'll play the Golden Sister, so we have some lifesteal that can try to help us a little bit. The light of my star warms the heavens. Wait a minute. You are beneath me. So this unit will die, but that's fine. We're just letting it uh, keep us alive a little bit longer. Let's see what we can get here. So we won't get the Daybreak effect since it's not the first card we're playing. And honestly, she's the best stats here out of anyone. I mean, we could go for the House Spider. We would get another Summon in. We also don't want to play the dog since we have another dog. I think we'll just play uh, Nico as normal. I will learn. I will grow. I will Nico. Evening glows. Although I guess... With the Scar Grounds, this is just going to help them. Not necessarily the best. Alright, let's play the Spider just for some blockers. We'll play the Grave Companion just so we have a stronger blocker since they have a lot of Overwhelm. And we'll get rid of the Emperor's Dias since it's mostly just going to help them from their Scar Grounds. Alright, so barely surviving. We'll play the spider so that we can play the tri-tail next round. I guess we have enough mana for both of them. Ah, oh, that's sad. So we'll move some of theirs to the side, and we'll try to do as much damage as we can. Probably won't be enough since we only have one Overwhelm, but uh, let's see. You messed with the wrong Nico. One, two, Nico. Although we do just have Elusive. Oh, we're so close. Oh, it looks like we just pulled it off. Yay for impact. Alright, that was quite a close one. I think let's get some Farsight going here. Are we making any created cards? Like, we will from Behold the Infinite. I don't think we're doing that very often, though. So I think I'll use a reroll, try to get something a bit better for us. So rush them down would actually be decent with our Seat of Power. Sting Officer is fairly strong. I think I'm actually going to go for rush them down. Yeah, let's let's do it. Alright, Abyssal Eye. Let's go for it. Yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with this. We know we're going to draw our Nico, so...
Well, the Sunhawk won't really help us. I think we'll just stick with... Uh, stick with Nico. Uh, let's play Dust of Diplomacy. Get another unit on the board. bad. <laughs> uh, we'll play the house spider, I think. Yeah, not too surprised there. Whoa. Yeah, that won't even... Well, we'll be able to get our revenge at least. Yeah, sure, let's play a cub. I think we'll just play two of them, actually. The more impact, the better. Get bloody, get paid. Able, able to get rid of most of their board. I think we'll play Dust Up Diplomacy since we'll kill two of their units. Let's just save this unit right here. Alright, not too bad. They only have one card left. That's the thing with the Abyssal Eye. They flood the board early, but if you can outlast them, then it's normally not too bad. what I was hoping they would do. I really love this spell. <laughs> Little word we're gonna run out of cards. It seems to be taking a while. want to get rid of the amount of blockers they can have. We'll just pass to conserve uh, our cards. We don't want to be burning some of our units we already have. I alone stand against the abyss. Yeah, this looks fine. Oh, I guess it's fearsome so they can't block each other. Alright, we'll get rid of the one spiderling. I 
I will give them a show to more than audience. You are the expression. Alright, GG. <laughs> Alright, getting more dust up diplomacy, not bad. Reavers row or gold. We already have a good amount of gold. Let's see if there's anything decent here. Yeah, I don't really care about any of these. I think we'll just go for the shop. And yeah, let's get an officer back up this time. Thinking another reptile wouldn't be bad, and the radiant plate armor isn't too terrible since we're already getting some cost reduction. And I think getting a little bit of extra draw wouldn't be bad as well. Alright, let's go for the Y'all Hunters. We know we're going to draw this, so we'll just pass. Well, not pass, but uh, re-roll that one. And of course we get the exact same card again. Oh man. Actually, this is funny. The non-leveled up version is better <laughs> than the, like the leveled up version. Um, sure, let's go with this. Yeah, I think we'll just pass. Let's get some early damage down before they can play any blockers. Sure, let's get, get more draw. Alright, perfect. Uh, I don't really think we have anything. Oh, we actually, yeah, right. We have a sting officer. We're fine. Let's talk this out. Uh, will this actually work? Hopefully, this will work. Just our board's kind of full. They'll never see these coming. Okay, yeah, it's fine. Perfect. We'll use a dust up diplomacy just to get rid of it. Alright, is this GG? Yes it is. Uh, I think getting more of the Sorin and give it, giving it Overwhelm would probably be best. Let's see what we get for a spell's chest. Uh, grant an ally elusive, that'll be pretty, pretty awesome. I think we'll get rid of Whirling Death. It's a decent card, but we have better things to play, I think. Alright, Nautilus. Uh, we'll get rid of the Grave Companion and hold on to the rest. Man, none of these. That's kind of a problem when you're just normal champion's gonna be better than whatever you can really play. I will learn. I will grow. I will Nico. On foot. All right, nice amount of early damage. Let's just get rid of that. Don't want it taking out any of our units. Oh, 
Let's work on building out our board. So we could play the web spinner, but I think we'll play one of the shape splitters. This card is so powerful. Uh, let's see what we get with Invoke. Man, we've had really bad luck with not getting Crescent Strikes. Uh, we'll pass. We have money for the Shape Splitter. That there, that there. The bad thing is that we keep healing them because every card <laughs> makes him heal. Or every death. Uh, I think let's just attack and deal as much damage as we can. So we could kill that with a Mystic Shot, but we're saving this for if we really need it. Now they are probably going to play Nautilus, which will be... Oh, he is Overwhelm. That's not good. <laughs> Let's use the web spinner, get his attack a little bit lower. Man, they have so much sustain. <laughs> we should probably save this for next round. Honestly, we need to probably get Nico leveled up. Well, this might be bad. Together at last. So we're going to need blockers, but the thing is when they attack, we're not really going to be able to block anyways because of the fearsome. On foot. 
So yeah, we'll just attack and do some damage, but probably not going to come away with the win this time. is a lot of elusives. Well, didn't quite come away with the win this time. Alright, so that was our first game with Nico. I think she is a lot of fun. Definitely will be a lot better with the third star power. I think you need to really be aggressive early and being able to dump a lot of higher power units on your board in the very first round or the very first couple rounds from your third star power will really help you out. Uh, the fact though that you get all of your items even when you're disguised is really going to be pretty crazy. And since she's a two cost champion, I'm sure she's going to absolutely dominate, but that will probably be once you can get her leveled up and get more of those three relics going. But for the early game, she'll probably be a little bit more difficult to play. Definitely think it's actually quite a fun champion though. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, definitely like and subscribe. And if you want to check out our Discord, click the link in the description down below.